Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, this was not the way I was planning on starting this video. 93 to 105 Kudu track, I think, should actually be a really good diamond and not like a glitch diamond. I'm pretty sure, and we spooked him out of here. I was literally just going and checking my consec. I dropped a couple of animals uh, and was just going to fast travel back. I'm glad I did not. And here we are. So I got the crossbow today. I also brought the compound. But the plan was to test the crossbow on the Cape Buffalo. I said I wanted to do that yesterday, and I thought, why not give it a shot? But first, we're going to try to find this kudu, see if it is a diamond. I don't know. 93 to 105 should be a decent bet. I've been told they actually only max at 95, though, so I don't really know what's going on. But either way, uh, I want to try to get it with the crossbow, since that is the main weapon for this hunt. And actually, since we're here, we do have the 420s equipped, so we know we're good there. I imagine this is not going to be very fun to track because that always seems to be the case with oh, with these kudu. Unless maybe that's him coming back right now. That would be appreciated. I don't know what that was. These are the only tracks I see going this way, so it could actually be him just coming right back. This doesn't hide me as much as I would like. Springbuck over there. But that's not the direction I hear... Footsteps. I think that is a kudu. I can't quite spot it. Ooh. Yeah. Not bad looking horns. Alright, let's uh let's crawl over here to this brush. And as we're doing so, we'll give a few snort wheezes. Try to get him coming this way. That should be, I think, a legitimate kudu diamond, unless they're actually not fixed yet. But we'll just slowly work our way over here. Oh, sounds like that got his attention. I hope this brush will hide us. It does. And where did he actually get to? There he is, right back in this brush. I don't want to take that shot because I don't know if there's anything there to actually stop the arrow. I think I might... Come on, stop. I tried to hit him with a couple of snort wheezes to stop him. Let's just kind of alert him real quick. And kudu down, and because I just checked my consec, I don't think I need to do it again. Like, as I said, I was literally doing it to start the video, uh, because we're gonna go after the Cape Buffalo, and I figured, why not just have that done? That's not a very good angle to show the actual size of these beautiful spiraling horns this kudu is rocking. So did we just start a video with a diamond without trying? We certainly did a 967, so he's certainly not huge at 93.99 kilos, so that does make me think that 105 would actually be the max, but a 93 kilo kudu, say, uh, I don't know, a couple of days ago before the patch, would be way bigger than this, like a 82 kilo is probably a 967, so that part of it seems to be fixed, that is really good to know, and with him down, we are going to head up to the gorge and see if we can get any buffalo with the crossbow and see if they do in fact drop with a double lung shot. So no buffalo yet, but I'm actually curious to see how the 420 grain bolts do on the blue wildebeest. But I'm down here in the gorge and like, just no buffalo. I don't know if I shot them all yesterday with the bow or what's going on, but I'm sure we'll find some. Where did you go? And more kudu. Any more diamonds? Good. If there's too many diamonds, I feel bad for shooting that one, because I, I don't like shooting ones that aren't supposed to actually be diamonds, but I feel like that has been fixed. So I'm just going to go for double lung here. And it's going to drop really, really quick. That should be 100%. That animation actually was really cool. It was like it sort of jumped forward when it got hit. I want to see if that's always going to be a thing. Like, if I get another chance to do that, I definitely want to try it because I don't know if that was like an animation or if that was just some kind of lucky thing that happened. 100% quick kill, though. Double lung with the crossbow on a blue wildebeest. Really, really good to know. All right, finally a Cape Buffalo here at this feed zone. 14 meters out. I'm going to get to 10, ideally, just to make sure all the zeroing is lined up. Actually, they don't usually let you get quite that close. Well, that ain't going to work. Oh, I hear another one. Well, either way, let's see if we can double lung this. The angle's a little weird, but I think that should be double lung. 
Oh god. That's a male and he doesn't sound happy with me. I want to see what happened here, so uh, just gonna run out of here and hope I don't get charged. But I want to see what the quick kill is, because I've been told that apparently he gets 100% with a crossbow double lung, and maybe I didn't get double lung there. But I feel like she ran a little too far to be at 100. 98 though. So it's probably possible. But I'd say then still with a diamond, spine would be preferred. And if that's the case, we shall go see if we can find another cave buffalo and try a spine shot with a crossbow. And just see how that compares to how the compound did on it yesterday. Alright, we are on the case. 858 to 950 kilo buffalo. That will be a solid mythical. And I don't think they are too far off. If I had to guess, we probably sent him running. He might have been even the one the warning called. But the wind is going to be a little rough here. I'm trying to get kind of behind where I think they went. Just trying to figure out where they actually got to with the tracks. Because it looks like he kind of turned around. Hello. What was that? Sounded like there's one down here too. But that was actually like almost a bear sound. But either way, they must be up here. And I gotta scoot further and further to my left just to try to get around them so the wind will be okay. But it does look like they're coming back. And if we can get that mythical in crossbow range, I really want to try the spine shot. All right, they're on their way. I think that's probably the seven or is that the eight? Might be the eight. Yeah, it is. I don't know if he'll get that close because the wind is still rough. But we'll see what he'll do. Spring bug jumping everywhere. Oh, that's probably the seven. That's the three, and she knows we're here at 40 meters, and that's not even horrible wind. He's getting pretty dang close, though. He doesn't seem... Uh, he does seem alert now. 45 meters. If we zero for 50. I could go for heart. Yeah! <laughs> I wasn't sure what really happened. That animation was weird. He kind of just, like, took it and... Almost like... Uh-oh. Stood there for a second. That's a male? That's not you. Is she gonna charge? Hello? You good? I'm gonna use this opportunity for screenshots and probably get dead doing it. But. Hey. If you just wanna. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait. She's coming back for more. That scared me so bad. That was kind of weird. Born and calling as she died. That would have been so good. The sun in the background. That really gave me a, a heart attack. Right in the brain. Not what I was aiming for, but... Okay. But what I do want to see is... What we got here actually somehow hit him in the brain went for heart didn't get it 143 trophy 913 brain and right lung but yeah we at least got to see the crossbow a bit i still want to try the spine shot to see how uh efficient that is but the bows seem to be way 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 more consistent than the guns on these cape buffaloes i don't think i'm gonna shoot another cape buffalo with a gun so I've been waiting for a buffalo, and this wildebeest is literally going to walk right on top of me, apparently. I've got the 420s equipped in the compound, so I guess that's what I'm going with. I hear something back there as well. Let's see if we can get something lined up here. Went for a heart shot. See, they do have that animation then. That's good. I love that. I don't know if that was double lung. I went down really quick. What is you? Probably spring buck. I got a couple of them around here, but let's go see what happened there. I'm very, very curious if that was 100% or near it. Oh, I just sent the buffalo I was waiting for running. I forgot I was doing that. It was probably coming back. Yeah, that couldn't have been 100%, though. It went further than I thought. It was a single lung at 64%, so I'd love to see what a double lung does on them with the compound as well, but I imagine it would be the same as the crossbow. And speaking of the crossbow, it might be time to try out the spine shot. We got a female buffalo right here. You can see how far that is. Hopefully right about 30. Yeah, it is. Can I alert her just by moving around in here? Maybe if I stand up. 
I need her to notice that I'm here and stop, really. I don't want to take a moving shot. Come on, you gotta realize I'm here. There we go. Uh, and she's gonna turn towards me because she's a buffalo. That's a thing. Well, spine shot definitely works. I still want to try a broadside angle, ideally, but it is certainly a thing with the crossbow as well. Not a, oh, not as much penetration as the compound was getting yesterday, though, I must say. Just slowly, maybe even if I walk. I can't send her running because she's still going to be on alert. Alright, just stand broadside. That is not broadside. You know what? If you turn, even if you're not stopped, I'm going to go for it. I didn't get it. I had to try it. It was a lung. Uh oh. Ah, I'm stuck. I think we'll be good. Barely. Double lung, 96%. So you do get a very high quick kill with the crossbow on a double lung shot. And yeah, the penetration broadside seems to be just fine. But again, not what the compound was getting. So I gotta say I'd probably prefer hunting them with the compound but either way we've done a good bit of Cape Buffalo hunting up here we got a mythical I want to head down uh, south a bit and see what we can get down there so we've made it to the first lake I wanted to hunt and we have a jackal here level 7 even and I actually did bring my 243 as well as uh, the 4570 which I want to try out at some point but we'll just drop that guy there run over and pick him up and then continue onwards I don't know, I'll probably just end up recording until dark, which will be in uh, like a half hour real time. So we've got a little while left. So this should be our third, I think, gold plus of the hunt. I think technically only our second gold, but we of course had the diamond to start 881 and not have bad 178 meters away, 12 kilos. That's actually getting up there. He would have been pretty close, I think, to a mythical, but onwards to the next lake I want to check. All right, we've got some warthogs on the run. Do we have anything actually interesting? Level four, I guess that's interesting. I actually have the 4570 today. Well, that's a butchered gold. Oh, and they're coming back. Nope. No. Kills for me. If you guys caught the stream the other day, you know they're after me. But, uh, yeah, that was a bit of an epic fail. I tried to get Lumbar's spine. Uh, that's not quite right. <laughs> 769, I did only actually hit him once, which is, I guess, good because we got a higher score from him, but no gold. Alright, one last buffalo and we have another level eight i decided to come back up here again uh because i keep trying it and they're not here but finally we have them here i'm gonna try to crawl down into range and we'll see if we can end with a solid mythical buffalo and i'm actually going to use the compound i do think i prefer it and as long as they haven't moved we're actually in the same spot we shot the kudu in the last video we'll have to crawl through here and they'll pretty much be i think right on top of us on the far end of the grass so we'll keep the compound in hand in case something crazy happens and they notice us in here in charge but we should have a nice close shot while we are hidden uh oh i think i failed ah oh uh, jeez okay the other one's gone they are he might have slightly noticed are you serious <laughs> he might have slightly noticed us I got him! Uh oh. Does that break the game? Nah, we good. Well, that was an interesting way to end the video. I got my heart pounding as well. I don't know why that scared me so bad, but just him charging at me like that. And then the dumbest way to die. A fully dead buffalo, like, kicks his leg just before being completely motionless and kills me. But anyway. That was fun, and I think that is pretty much the official determining factor for me. The crossbow works well on the Cape Buffalo, but I think I prefer the compound bow, so you shall be seeing me carrying that. That's a decent Kudu track, but we'll find him another time. But yeah, you'll be seeing me carrying this in pretty much all of my future Africa hunts. Thank you once again for hanging out, and I will see you next time.